10 Most Hunted Animals. Number 10, Cheetah. Racing at speeds up to 75 miles per hour, this is the world's fastest land animal. Even though cheetahs view humans as prey and will keep their distance, they're still hunted down for their pelt, a highly prized trophy. The king cheetah pattern in particular is especially sought after. It's estimated that around 12,400 cheetahs live in the wild today. Unfortunately, some hunters see the cheetah's natural shyness as a challenge. The animals prove attractive targets because the license to hunt them is cheaper than the license required to hunt lions or elephants. Number 9. African Bush Elephant. In 1900, there were approximately 10 million of these animals. Today, their total number is estimated at around 300,000. Most of these elephants killed today have some link to illegal poaching. The ivory trade is banned internationally, but poachers can reap big profits from selling pairs of the elephant's tusks. The feet are also highly valued and are often hollowed out into trash containers. Elephants can be legally hunted in Kenya, South Africa, and Tanzania, provided the animal meets certain criteria. It must be a single elephant, either old, sick, or display rogue behavior that threatens humans, or it must be unable to mate or found to serve no use in its head. Number 8. The Quetzal. These birds were once the protected favorites of Mayan royalty. Their distinctive jade green tail feathers could even serve as currency. Those vibrant feathers helped make it a target of poachers. Illegal hunting, along with the destruction of their rainforest home, threatened their survival. Did you know Quetzal is the name of Guatemala's currency? And the bird also serves as the national symbol of that country. Number 7. Sea Cucumbers These sea creatures have become vulnerable to poaching thanks to their use in traditional medicines in certain countries around the world. Sea cucumbers are often prescribed as cures for impotence, constipation, and weakness. In addition, they're sometimes eaten as delicacies. Because many regions have banned the collection of these marine animals, a thriving black market has been created, leading to occasionally violent confrontations between competing fishermen. Number 6. African lions. The king of the jungle has seen its numbers decrease significantly over the past two decades, with populations dropping up to 50%, thanks largely to hunting, poaching, and encroachment. Their numbers are estimated at around 30,000, although some estimates are lower, at around 20,000. Thanks to their majestic appearance, lions are always sought after as trophies and are one of Africa's big five game animals, along with the African elephant, Cape buffalo, African leopard, and rhino. These Big cats can be legally hunted in Tanzania, Kenya, and South Africa. These hunting safaris often take place on privately owned fenced grounds that comprise at least 20,000 acres. Remember in 2015 when American dentist Walter James Palmer made international headlines when he killed a beloved 13-year-old lion named Cecil in Zimbabwe's Huang National Park. Palmer was said to have paid $55,000 for that privilege. The incident set off an international storm of protests against trophy hunting, prompting the U.S. to make it more difficult for lion trophies to be brought into the country by American big game hunters. Number 5. Japanese Whaling This picture by Teru Hanai shows the crew of a Japanese fishing vessel butchering a Baird's beaked whale at Wada Port, southeast of Tokyo, in 2014. In March of that year, the International Court of Justice found Japan's Antarctic whale hunt was illegal under international law. Japanese whalers killed 30 minke whales after they were banned from doing so. As of March 2016, Japan had killed 333 minke whales, 200 of them pregnant females, during this year's Antarctic whale hunt. What happened? Japan did comply with the court order in 2014 and did briefly halt whaling efforts. Revising its program to be more scientific, its quota of whales was decreased by a third. Japan rejects international orders to cease its whaling activities on the basis that it is vital to scientific research, which is exempted from the 1986 ban on commercial whaling. The expedition that returned to Tokyo in March 2016 from the Antarctic was part of a 12-year program expected to kill 4,000 minke whales. Number four, 
great white shark. You wouldn't think of one of the world's most fearsome predators as being vulnerable, now would you? Yet the great white, arguably the most famous shark of them all, is listed as a vulnerable species on the International Union for the Conservation of Nature's Red List. At least, well, that's better than endangered, right? Including the great white, hundreds of shark species are hunted and slaughtered yearly by nations that depend on commercial fishing to make a substantial living. The shark's fin is considered a delicacy and is a highly sought after item. As you might expect, it's a key ingredient in shark fin soup, although the fin is used to add texture, not flavor. In the Far East, the soup is consumed in mass quantities, placing a high demand on shark populations. Another factor impacting the Great White is the implementation of designated kill zones approved by Australia. Due to numerous fatal shark attacks off the country's west coast, two marine monitored areas were put in place to allow legal hunting or fishing of the animals. There's a lot of controversy over the program. The government says the measures are necessary to protect human lives. Opponents see it as an excuse to kill sharks and shrink the populations. Got any thoughts on the matter? Let us know in the comments. Number 3. Chinese Salamander, the world's largest amphibian has seen its populations fall precipitously over the past three decades. Like the sea cucumber, the salamander is sought for its use in traditional medicines. Also decreasing the numbers were loss of habitat and poaching for food. In China, thousands of salamanders are raised in captive breeding programs. Number two. Hippopotamus. The hippo might look cartoonish, but they're one of the most aggressive animals in Africa. They can even look scary when they're yawning, opening the mouths up to 170 degrees, exposing ivory canine fangs that can reach 20 inches long. But professional hunters will flatly state they have no desire to try their luck with this beast. Still, some hunters cannot resist that lure of those 20-inch ivories, so the hippo is still poached for trophies. While hosted trophy hunting parties are legal in South Africa and allow participants to keep the hippo's teeth, the ivory trade is internationally banned. Did you know the billionaire drug lord Pablo Escobar owned four hippos? When the estate was liquidated, the animals were deemed too dangerous to approach and were allowed to roam wild. As of 2014, as many as 40 hippos reportedly exist from Escobar's original four. A documentary about the animals was produced called, appropriately enough, Cocaine Hippos. Do you think those hippos ever get hungry? Number one. Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger. Its main habitat is the Sikote Alin mountain region of Russia. Consider that it once roamed throughout all of Korea, the Russian Far East, Northeastern China, and all the way to Eastern Mongolia. By 2015, the Siberian tiger population was estimated at over 500 individual animals, including cubs in the Russian Far East. Siberian tigers have come close to extinction several times in the past. At one time, their numbers had dwindled to only 40 animals remaining in the wild. Populations in Russia and Korea fell victim to decades of war in the areas and faced increased deforestation. They're attractive targets thanks to their unique striped fur, which makes for a highly sought-after trophy. The Siberian tiger is considered an endangered species with its survival still threatened by poaching and loss of habitat due to development and logging. 